Hello, my name's Laura Coates from the University of Oxford and it's my pleasure to share the results from the COSMOS trial looking at gazelkamab in patients with psoriatic arthritis who've had an inadequate response to TNF inhibition. We know that up to 40% of patients with psoriatic arthritis have an inadequate response to their first TNF inhibitor after six months of treatment. And long-term data indicate that the response rates diminish with each subsequent TNF inhibitor. As a result, current treatment guidelines generally support only one switch within the TNF inhibitor class before selecting an alternate mechanism of action. Other classes of biologic DMARDs that target alternative components of the immune response are now available to treat psoriatic arthritis, including those targeting IL-17A, interleukins 12 and 23 via their shared P40 subunit, or, most recently, IL-23 only via selective binding to the cytokine's unique P19 subunit. Studies dedicated to evaluating the efficacy and safety of these therapies following an inadequate response to TNF inhibition are limited. Gazelkamab is a fully human IL-23 P19 subunit inhibitor and has previously demonstrated efficacy in improving the signs and symptoms of active psoriatic arthritis, both in TNF-naive and TNF-experienced patients. COSMOS was a phase 3b study of gazelkamab in patients with psoriatic arthritis who discontinued up to two prior TNF inhibitors due to inadequate response, either lack of efficacy or intolerance. Patients were randomised in a 2 to 1 ratio to receive subcutaneous gazelkamab 100 mg or placebo. Gazelkamab was given at week 0, week 4 and then every 8 weeks through week 44. The primary endpoint was ACR20 response at week 24. Patients receiving matching placebo crossed over to receive gazelkamab 100 mg at week 24, week 28 and then every 8 weeks. Early escape was possible at week 16. The study met its primary endpoint, with 44% of patients in the gazelkamab group achieving an ACR20 response at week 24, compared with 19.8% of those receiving placebo. This difference was statistically significant. The ACR20 response rate in the gazelkamab group increased to 58% at one year. Gazelkamab was superior to placebo in all major secondary endpoints at week 24, with response rates and mean improvements maintained or further improved through one year in the gazelkamab group. The major secondary endpoints included change in the HAC-DI score, ACR50 response, mean change in the SF36 physical component score, and PASI100 response. Gazelkamab also demonstrated efficacy in patients with dactylitis or enthesitis, suggesting efficacy across multiple domains of psoriatic arthritis. Gazelkamab demonstrated a favourable safety profile similar to placebo. Abnormal clinical findings were uncommon and mostly low grade. The rates of serious adverse events and serious infections were low. No participant died or developed an opportunistic infection or tuberculosis. The safety profile of gazelkamab in the COSMOS study was similar to that observed in the DISCOVER2 study, which compared gazelkamab with placebo in TNF-naive patients with psoriatic arthritis. In summary, treatment with gazelkamab every eight weeks demonstrated robust and durable response across the diverse signs and symptoms of psoriatic arthritis and a favourable safety profile in patients with inadequate response to TNF inhibition that was consistent with that seen in TNF-naive patients. This study adds to the favourable benefit risk profile demonstrated by gazelkamab in pivotal phase 3 studies DISCOVER 1 and 2. How might this impact on clinical practice? The efficacy and safety results of COSMOS suggest that gazelkamab may be an appropriate therapy for psoriatic arthritis patients with an inadequate response to TNF inhibition. You will find further results on safety, quality of life and resolution of musculoskeletal symptoms in the full manuscript available now on the ARD website. Thank you very much.